it is uh, 618 and uh, we're going to go bass fishing. On this trip, I'm going fishing my longtime friend Matt Bianchi and my brother-in-law Connor on a private lake in Central Florida. I have two objectives for the day. The first is to put them on some nice fighting fish. The second, which is my personal goal, is to capture an underwater strike with a bobber that I designed and made for my GoPro. The first, I got to pick up Connor and then Matt. We just pulled up, mirrored Matt and Connor for about to do some bass fishing. And we just saw a monster gator. I figured the best odds to film an underwater strike with the GoPro bobber would be by using live bait. So the first plan is to go to my family's bait spot and try to cast out some golden shiners. We just got some uh, shiners up the boat. See if we can catch them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Woo yeah baby. Awesome, and a catfish. <laughs> <laughs> we got a catfish. We got dinner. Small. Forever toss. Never toss it, bro. I only keep a shiner, letting the bass, brim, and catfish go. After several casts and a handful of wild shiners later, we are ready to go to my favorite fishing hole and cast out some lines. Alright, get it Matt. Yeah. Good first fish. Matt landing this fish less than a minute after arriving is a fantastic sign. My favorite spot is active, the bass bite is on, and now is the perfect time to use the bobber cam. Oh my gosh, that was cool. dope, dude. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> he just took it with the GoPro. <laughs> now I'm gonna let him take it. Because this is a large shiner, I let the bass take it for 10 seconds to ensure that it's fully in his mouth. Then I set the hook. Now the fight's on. After landing this fish, I couldn't wait to cast a few more shiners out to capture some more footage. It's an incredible thing to see their behavior from this perspective, and to watch them compete with each other for food. I'm so stoked I was able to film some exciting strikes, but now, having completed my goal for the day, it's time to get these guys on some more fish.
a good one? From using hard baits and soft baits, different color variations and sizes, we figure out pretty soon the most productive and the bait to use is a June bug soft plastic worm. Good fish. As the storm approaches, we make our final cast and reluctantly head in. It was a successful day. Right. We caught some good fish. That's all you gotta do. Thank you. Fishing means much more to me than just going out and catching a limit. It's a family tradition, a way to connect with nature, and a great way to spend time with God, family, and friends. As we load up and drive away, I'm already planning the next trip in my head, longing for the next chance to catch a trophy bass and capture some more underwater footage.